So I don't have an actual sledgehammer, but I've got this old handle and this old hammerhead that I haven't cleaned up yet. And it works, kind of works. So for some reason in this corner, the floor has these, this hole and it's filled with like rubbishy concrete. So I want to take this out if I can. I'm gonna use this and see how it goes. I don't really know what's going on here, but this seems to be stuck to a brick, which is loose. So I'm going to try and get it out and see what's in the hole. Okay, so the hole is just full of dirt and rubble. I think if I take it all out, then I can refill it with another brick. So I think this hole was made as a footing for this piece of wood when it was put in, but that's completely rotted away. Um, so this is just empty now, so I will have to fill it with something. I actually have more of these bricks and it would be great if I could fill this area with those instead of this red brick. So, yeah. a lot of soil in this hole. Okay, so most of the floor is these bricks, which are actually not square, they're these double things. Um, but for some reason here, it's just ugly rough bricks in just this area, and I don't know why. But I have more of these, and I'd really like to maybe put them in here but I don't know whether I'm gonna get these out we'll see I'm gonna have a go works but it might take a hundred years. I really want to see if I can just get this piece of stone out because then I think it'll be easier to get the rest out. The only problem is I don't, I don't want to break these walls, I don't want to break the building doing this.
Okay, it is a massive piece of stone. I mean, apart from this. Ugh. Ah, okay, I can't get that off. But I think these lines are from when the stonemason cut it. concrete in here there's like a half ceramic drain pipe um, but I think underneath the concrete it might be bricks I need to break it up I tried with the sledgehammer doesn't really work I think I need to hire somebody with a jackhammer to really break it up properly um, so I'm kind of waiting on that at the moment before I can do any more uh, the other thing is, it would be really great if I could get rid of this concrete bit of the floor in here um, because possibly underneath are the square grey bricks and it would be good if I could have the whole room the same floor but I kind of doubt that we're going to get this off and find the bricks intact so I might just end up covering this half of the room with wooden floor on top of the concrete. I don't really know what else I can do. <laughs>
The other day I was looking in one of the barns that I haven't cleared out yet and I found this really rusty old vice. I cleaned it up with the angle grinder. Now it actually looks quite good. It's functional. Um, it's called the Record Auto Vice 74, which is apparently from originally the 1930s. It probably belonged to my granddad uh, or my great granddad. Uh, I like it. It could be useful. It's got a little anvil on the back here. I also looked in one of the other barns and I found another vice even bigger and this one was also rusty so I just did the same thing I'm not sure this one might be even older but it should be useful for things I'm doing in here and also I found another vice I decided to just look in the barns and see what was there see if there was anything else that was rusty um, that I could clean before it just completely fell apart and I found this which is another kind of vice it's for pipes so you put a pipe through here and then you tighten it and you can work on the pipe so that actually might be kind of useful um, if I'm doing any, that kind of work uh, later in this project I want to try and make a drop spindle which I can then try and use to spin some of the wool that I've got, that I've washed. So to make it I need a round disc of wood and then a piece of dowel. So I was wondering if I can use any of these logs to cut the round piece of wood. I don't know, they might be too cracked but I might just have a go.
I'm testing out my drop spindle that I made with some of the yarn from the sheep that I sheared or helped shear. It actually really works. I'm amazed. I'm really pleased at how it turned out. It's a bit fiddly. I'm not that good at spinning like this yet, but I will get there. Actually, it turned out that this split in the wood was really useful because the spindle needed a notch and Basically, that is the notch. Because this is my first go at this, it's pretty lumpy. It's not the most even. But actually, I think I would get the hang of it with a bit more practice. <laughs> 